Hey friends, Chris Maholka here. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a really popular and effective uh, bass bug. Some people call them chuggers, we call them gurglers. So let me show you more about this fly. Part of what makes this fly so effective are the components involved. We've got a split tail back here that's made out of uh, faux buck tails so it doesn't absorb water. It's got an underneath body here that's going to sparkle and shine in the uh, surface of the water. You've got rubber legs that uh, move, show motion, show a liveliness as it's stripped through the surface. Uh, and it's got the foam back which not only keeps it floating, but the way the foam head is designed is you strip it full of water. This spits and chugs and creates all kinds of commotion to uh, attract fish and get their attention. So to tie this we're going to use the 8089 number 6 bass bug hooks. I'll explain about hooks, bass bug hooks here in a little bit more in a moment. We're going to use uh, foam bodies. These are some that because of the way the fly is tied we have started selling cut foam bodies and you can always find this on eBay. Um, fly tie stuff, look up my name and it's also going to be listed after uh, I post the video. It will be down in the corner down here under the video where it says show me or show more. Um, it will have a link to this. We're going to use hairline there, the Crockett's Finesse body chenille, the three quarter inch yellow. I'm going to use some uh, yellow synthetic or uh, um, silicone legs. These happen to be uh, from Cabela's. I think they're actually might be hairline, but they're just a yellow and black striped leg. And we're going to use for the tail some yellow faux buck tail. Uh, I like this because it doesn't absorb water. We're going to put a weed guard of hard mason and if you're a bass bug tire you know about hard mason it's a really hard uh, monofilament that does really well at keeping the hook point clear in, in the water. I'm going to use uh, yellow 6 aught unithread and I've just got some generic uh, head fly tying cement lacquer to soak in and really seal these flies up. So let's get started on this. When you're tying these patterns, this particular pattern, it's important that you have the proper hook size for the body. The ones that we sell at Northwest Fishing Stuff, the foam ones that are cut out, work really well on the stinger style bass hook 6 or 8. Preferably 6, but you know, work with what you have. And if you don't have that particular hook, the way you find the right size hook, this is going to tie in like this and flip over to the front. So you want where that tie-in point is to be on the straight shank. You don't want it to be down the back and you want this narrow part to be right behind the eye of the hook. So that shows you that that's about the proper size hook for this foam body that we have cut out. First thing we're going to do, put on our weed guard. I'm going to wrap halfway down the bend of the hook. Back up. Cut that off. Now that we're wrapped up to the front, we're going to take our piece of hard monofilament, tie it in up high, not quite on the flat shank of the hook, but into the bend already. You don't want it to interfere up here on top. So I'm holding it out and letting the thread pull the monofilament into place. When I get all the way back down here to my wrap in point, the I left before, I'm going to go back up to the top, put a half hitch or two in it, to make sure nothing goes awry there, the thread would break. Then we put a little coat of, this is just regular lacquer, fly tying cement lacquer. I don't want to use something that's going to sit on top like a UV type cement. I want something that's going to really soak down in there and solidify on those threads. Next thing we're going to do is pull off a little bit of our faux bucktail. Just take and pull a cluster off the base like that. And if we keep it all together there, when we go to the other end, it should be pretty much uniform. Now, this material we don't want to ride on top. We have to tie the body foam in on top. So we want this to slide a little bit around the sides. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm 
got a bare hook shank up there right now. I don't have any thread wrap on the hook shank. I'm going to set this on that bare shank, make a couple wraps over it as far back as I'm going to wrap, and then I'm going to push down on the top. And I want that material to slide around the hook shank on both sides. Now when I wrap over it, it gives me kind of a little plateau on top, a little high spot or a flat spot that I can tie my other material in on top of. And it also gives you a little bit of a split tail just by forming it around the back of the hook shank. So now I'm going to tie in my body material or my uh, body material first. This is the uh, Crockett's body, whatever it's called, body chenille. I'm going to tie it in so the flare goes this way on the material. I don't want to tie it this way where the flare is going this way. It will gum up as you wrap. So we'll tie it in just slightly by the tip right there. Just secure it in place. Now we're going to put the body material, our foam body, gurgler body, we're going to tie in back here. And part of the reason for that little tab is it gives you room to set it up here, make some wraps over it, and secure it in place so you get a nice solid grip on the foam like that. Now it's nice and centered up over the hook shank. It's not to one side or the other. And it's tied in as far back as we go with our uh, body or our body chenille there. Now we're going to go up to the middle and we're going to put our legs in. I'm going to take three pieces of silicone, three little strands and pull them loose. Still connected at one end, which is fine. Now if you take those and you fold them in half, about like that, then where it's folded, cut them. Half your material, if you take and put it in right about by the center, lay it across the hook shank and make some good secure wraps over it, going one direction, like that. Then you pull the ones that are closest to you back, go over them, and the ones on the other side, pull them back out of the way. And so you're doing a figure eight wrap, a lot like you would do on uh, eyes or something. So you get them spaced out evenly on the sides. Going forward is a little okay because we're going to wrap this body material over them. It will put them into place even better. So I'm going to cover the hook shank with thread. Next, I'm going to start and wrap my body chenille here. And as you go around, since the bottom of this is going to be visible, you want to make sure you pull each wrap back and get them fairly close together. You don't want a bare spot on the hook shank. The fish won't care, but you know if you're you like your flies to look pretty, then uh, you will. We'll go around, but we're going to leave about a wrap's worth behind the eye of the hook because we've got a couple things going on here. So I'm going to tie that off, a couple wraps around and get rid of that material. Now because of the way the head on this works, there's no way to attach a weed guard later. So in this position right here, we're going to take the weed guard, put it through our vise, through the jaws, so it's clamped in good. So it's right down like that along the hook shank. Tighten the jaws up a little bit. Now we're going to run the mono up through the eye of the hook. There we go. And get it, pull it to where it's just about touching like that. Then again we're going to fold it and put some pressure on. Just kind of squeeze it with the fingers and it will mash down. We want it to stay right on top and right on the bottom, top and bottom so it stays even with the hook point. It doesn't slide off to one side or the other of the hook point. Now once that wrapping is done, your weed guard's in place. We had to do that first because when we pull this head or the, the body material over, there would be no way to tie that in. So we're going to pull it over, we're going to get the crease right behind the eye of the hook. A couple soft wraps over it, not tight wraps, then I'm just going to pull down. 
and I'll do some wraps to secure it in place. Half hitches will go over the head and eye of the hook. About like that. We'll clip it off. Thing I like to do is just pull my legs up, get them even, snip them off so they're uniform on both sides of the fly. We got one that got away from us there. And then another good coat of cement over the thread. And again, this is you want it to soak in good. You don't want it to just sit on top like some of the UVs do. You can see why we tied the the weed guard in before we tied the body, foam body and head on. That way it's in there secure through the eye of the hook that there'd be no way to do that now and still secure it well. Well, I hope you'll give this a try. It's not difficult to tie works really well and uh, if you don't want to cut your own foam look us up on ebay uh, order some from us and uh, give it a shot it'll be effective for you and the bass on the top really love it thanks for watching